All right, so welcome back. I believe this is part nine of Nelson's truck. Nelson's truck. Um, what are we doing today? Gas tank. You're doing the gas tank. What are you doing to it? Painting it and sanding it. Painting it and sanding it. Uh, I'm gonna work on wiring and plumbing. Um, we got the other fender built last night. Step over there. Look at that. We got matching fenders. We match. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, you can come back now. Uh. Also, me and Dan and Chandler uh, got out here last night, and we finished the fender, and we built a battery tray to put a battery under the bed. Um, got it all done. She's about to blow air on me. I'm going to put a toothpick at her when she does it. Ah! She got me. <laughs> uh, so, Kaylee's going to work on cleaning up the gas tank. Uh, we're going to paint it back silver, and I've got to wire the valves. To the switch box and i also have to plumb the gauges and i've got a a-pillar pod a triple pod for the gauges and i actually got all the fittings thanks brandon young coming clutch on that one um uh, that's probably gonna take the rest of the day so we just stop there telling what else we need to do and uh get after it We got the other fender built. There was a um, some kind of evap canister that was right here on the course port. Uh, I actually don't see it now. Uh, there it is. Um, it wasn't hooked up. This wire was hooked up, but it wasn't hooked to the motor. So I just deleted it. Um, and I've got to go find the fan and the fan shroud. Uh, we cleaned up the other day. I don't know what happened to them. So I got to find that. And this fender, I had to make a small hole back here at the back for the plug. The plug was just barely hitting. So, got a very small hole. It's still a long way away from the tire, so I don't have to worry about anything hitting. Um, and I'm going to mount this along the edge of this. And this wiring harness is probably going to... I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll get there. And then back here at the back, we uh, built a nice little battery tray. Uh, just two cross member across there, battery tray mounted to it. Uh, the reason I put it there is because this truck is getting a raised bed floor. Um, so once we get the bed on, all he'll have to do to get to the battery is let the tailgate down and there'll be an opening there. He can just reach in there and get to the battery. I uh, should be able to get it out, uh, hook jumper cables up or anything like that. He needs to, and make it easy to get to. Mine is actually on the outside of the frame on my peak truck and my dually and Dawson's truck is on the outside of the frame on both sides. But on this truck, we put compressors out there. Uh, because all those shirts I just said are running engine driven and this one's not so his compressors are out there So I just put the battery in the center it seemed to be easier and He can get to it really easy compared to ours. Ours can be kind of aggravating. Mine's not too bad. Dawson's is whoa Dually have to take the bed off to get to them. So trying to plan ahead a little bit on this one Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now. These cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte, like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring. Now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finished friends on my face. Looking like a front of D. D's no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and doing me, bro? Making noise, use a beat, bro. Whoa, I press the button. All right, so uh, we tried a couple different colors. We tried a silver and a dark gray. Uh, like the dark gray better. Uh, like KK paint this guy. Let me show you the kind of spray paint we're using. All right, this is a duple color wheel coating. You get it at O'Reilly's. Um, they only got like a few different colors at our O'Reilly's, like the dark gray and light silver. But this stuff is way better than regular spray paint. It's made to like heat cycle with wheels and it actually stays still. Here you go, boo. Did it quit on you? Hmm. 
Alright, let's go buy some more of them. <laughs> She's getting mad now. Angry face. You're gonna pop that lid off and it's gonna spray you in the face. Here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got a little bit. I heard it. Hey, I'll go buy you another can. You're not gonna be able to paint the whole gas tank like that. All right, so the paint can that KK had a while ago wouldn't spray. So I went to O'Reilly's get some more. Of course, they didn't have any. So we're gonna try this. I sent her a picture color choices and this is the color that she chose. And also, we're gonna have any tape to tape the gas neck off with. How much? Roll of tape and can of spray paint. How much? $45. Bro, it's getting ridiculous out here. I'm tired around here. Ow, you got me, guy. You got it down here? Yep. So what's the matter? So you put tape on my forehead. That's what's the matter. Oh, the baby. <laughs> Backing up don't help, man. Come here, I'll get it off. Come here. Come here, I'll get it off. Mama done you dirty on that one. Right, now come here. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you got that. I did. Oh, yeah. Y'all some bastards. All right, so what I'm working on right now is um, there was a brake line coming to the back. The brake line looks really good all the way to the front. But this section right here at the back of the cab where the frame was rusty, um, somebody has already changed um, the fuel line. That one looks original, but that's an EVAP hose. Um, it wasn't even hooked up at the motor, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but this is the rear brake line, and it was, uh, it was rusted in two, so... I'm gonna cut it back here a little ways and um, got a union somewhere. I don't know what I don't know. Anyway, I got a union to put the line together. Um, I gotta do a double flare on it, which I absolutely hate. It's really aggravating and it usually takes me like three tries. Um, and I know I'm not the only person out there because I've watched YouTube videos on it and I've seen people screw it up. Um, but I'm gonna try to get this brake line built, uh, put together. And once I get it together, I can get the gas tank back in. Once I get the gas tank back in, I hook the fuel lines up, and maybe I can crank this thing up and drive it around. And once I get it where it'll crank, um, and the airbag's wired up, it'll be on its own air for the first time. Uh, I just run a power wire to the starter, and I've got it run to the back. Uh, it's over here. Um, it's gonna go all the way to the battery at the back of the frame, and I've got to build a ground wire back there, and it should be able to crank once I get the gas tank back in. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, so I had to stop recording so I could watch somebody else's YouTube video on a double flare because I uh, kind of forgot how to do it. And I usually screw it up, but I got it right the second try today. Um, I know, impressive, right? 
so let's put all this stuff up and get back to work. Just out here killing these brake lines, getting them bent all up with the notch, and run up here where I had to flare that. Got to the last bend, I was like, "Yeah," and then realized my freaking nut is still at the front of the line. That's a tear. I'm just gonna go buy a new brake line and start over because <sighs> screw flaring another one. Now we're gonna try this again. This time I'll tape the fit into the end and make sure it's gonna be there. Ugh. All right, so we got the gas tank back in. Um, after my amazing, awesome brake line that I built that I forgot to put the fit at the end of, uh, got me a new one, got it bent up. I taped the fit into the end so that it didn't. Uh, not be there this time uh still got the factory bracket um so it's kind of hard to film and hold this so that'll be on there and then it's going to be welded to the this tank structure right here where i'm not to paint off um the vent for the rear end is still on this bracket it broke off right there i'm gonna cut that off put that back on um there was something else. I don't remember what it was. Do you remember what it was? Uh, no. No. I know I'm about to hurt myself. All right. Y'all look how good this gas tank looks, boy. Get KK some spray paint. Two kids to, you know, free child labor. See? They got that thing sanded down. Oh, it's good. I'm going to hurt myself. Yeah, please don't. That, that will cut your finger off, y'all. But I'm putting it on the nail. That will cut your finger off. <laughs> All right, well, as y'all can tell, we're still clicking along. Get back at it. Don't you love when you paint the chassis and then have to go back and weld stuff to it? <sighs> I forgot. My bad. Uh -oh. You want to tighten this or you want to tighten Will it take me forever? Uh, probably. Uh, sure. It smells like smoke over here. I'm just got that welding right here. <laughs> Alright, tighten this bolt for me. That's hot. I just welded it. So. You can do it. Oh, here. Stay right here and do it. I gotta go over here and find a bolt. What did you just weld? I welded that bracket to the frame. Right, ready? Yeah. All right, so we moved the battery to the back. Um, I got a power wire run back here. I have to ground the battery to the frame. There's no studs back here. So what I usually do is I take a bolt, three eighths bolt, three eighths by probably inch and a quarter, and I'm gonna weld that to the frame. Boop, just like that. And I'll make me a battery cable that goes from a negative to there, and that'll complete the circuit. I've got a power wire that's going to go to the positive side. It runs from here. It's going to run down the frame. It goes under the cab and hooks to the starter. Um, that makes that a circuit. Um, the factory battery cable that was under the hood had the big wire that went to the starter, and it also had a small wire with a fusible link in it that went to everything else under the truck, like to the fuse box and all that. Uh, I hooked that straight to the starter. So once this red wire is hooked to the positive, that'll make a circuit. Everything should work the way it should, uh, is. So 
got to grind a little paint off right there and do a little bit of welding and uh -oh. hook the red wire up and that should about be it no one likes welding no. All right, so I've been racking my brain on how I want to do this transmission crossbender. The factory bolts come in from the bottom. So if you leave them like that, and he gets out and he drags his truck down the highway, uh, eventually he's going to drag through the head of this bolt. Once you drag through the head of the bolt, top of the bolt can just fall loose. Transmission crossbender is loose. All right, so I originally wanted to go in here and put some plates and bolt it through the side of the frame. But the front's going to be hard to get to because it's kind of boxed. Um, also, this cross member has to come out sideways, like you have to slide it back to get it out. Uh, I was worried if I put plates on the end, you might not be able to get a cross member out then. So, uh, cause once you add a piece there and a piece over there, it, it may bind up. So, thought about it. I looked at the factory bolts. Comes with this funky washer on top. I caught this idea. So, I went and got me some new bolts. I cut the head of it off. I'm gonna stick it through the cross member, just like so. Oh, I'll drop it. See if I can get this demonstrated to y'all. I'm gonna stick it through there and I'm gonna sink it in just a hair and I'm gonna plug weld it right there. Uh, I wanna countersink it a little bit so that uh, the weld is up, up up in the frame, not um, you know flush to the bottom of the frame so it can eventually drag off. He would have to drag this a lot to get up into the weld like I'm talking about doing. Uh, I got this. I got brand new lock nuts going on the top. Um, this bolt, the reason I went with a new bolt is because the factory bolt is about an inch longer than this one. So uh, I got this one in there. That way, once you get the bolt, the nut loose, you can still get the cross member out because you can only raise it up so much. Um, and I'm going to give it a shot, see how it works out. If it don't work out, I'll cut them out, drill them out, whatever I got to do to get them out um, and try again. So but that's, that's my plan of attack now. Uh, we'll see how it works out. All right, so I got the four bolts plug welded in. Uh, I'm going to test fit it for the first time with y'all, and let's see if uh, we can even get this cross member out once we've done this. It ain't looking. Hmm. Ah, it's hitting the freaking transmission mount. Let it go here. Oh, that's it. All right, so next option. Sorry, y'all, if it's hard to see, my work light died. I got it charging over there, but. Took the transmission mount loose. Let's see if that puts us where we need to be. Get this wrench. All right. She's out of there. So that worked. Um, I think I'm gonna enlarge those holes on the cross member just a hair to help get it on and off. Um, Cause they, those studs that I welded in were really tight going in um, to the cross member. The hole in the frame was a little bigger, but uh, it did come out. We had to take them, you saw it, we had to take the mount off. But other than that, uh, went in, went right back out. 
Um, the welds are, they're puddled a little below the frame right now, but I'm gonna take the grinder and knock them off flush and a uh, little light factor. As long as, uh, as long as he doesn't drag through the bottom of the frame, we should be good. <laughs> Nelson, don't drag through the bottom of the frame. Step on the unit bit. It should be pulling. Oh. Well, this side's actually slotted, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's put this guy back in. Got pinch head lock nuts, new flat washers. I actually don't know what you really call those. I'm not really sure what the proper term is. All I know is it's a lock nut that doesn't have nylon in it. So I'm guessing that's what they call a pinch. Educate me, people. Hey, guess what? I put a vision back in. Huh. That's backwards. Really glad I didn't tighten all these bolts all the way down. Usually when I take a cross member out, I take my Sharpie and I write an arrow towards the front. Always do that. Today, didn't do it. Um, put a cross member in backwards. Oh, I thought it was a bolt. Dirt number. I'm about to get off. I know y'all just love staring at the back of my head because I have the worst camera placement angles. Sorry. All right, let's try this again. Maybe that much better it fits when you put it in the right way.
All right, so that's got the cross member. Uh, Tramish is in, cross member's in, four bolts in it, they're all tight. Um, I've been kind of dreading that, I ain't gonna lie. I did rack my brain on what I was gonna do with it, but I think that'll work just fine. Also, you got people that's gonna be like, oh, well, you're just gonna drag through the wheel. It's also got an overlapping piece right here. So you got you got to drag through all this to get to this. And then you're going to have to drag all the way through the bottom of the frame to get that loose. So I think we're going to be just fine. All right, so uh, Sunday night, it's about 9 o'clock. Uh, I didn't get as much time this weekend as I wanted to to work on it, but I did get a bunch done um, yesterday or Friday night and today. Uh, me and Dan Chandler was out here and Kaylee was out here Friday night working and Kenzie. Um, we finished the fender, the other fender. Uh, you saw that already. Go to battery tray Friday night. Got it tacked in, locked in. Um, I didn't get to work on it all yesterday. Uh, we went to Dan's daughter, Kira. She had a basketball game. She plays for the uh, Appling County Pirates here in town. Um, they went over to the neighboring county, played a basketball game. Uh, they won 75 to 25. It was, it was pretty <laughs> pretty good game to watch. They kicked tail. Uh, good job, ladies. Um, if any of y'all watching this, good job. Um, it's the first basketball game I've been to since I was in high school. I've been out of high school for about 18 years now, and I had a blast. Uh, took my kid. She starts basketball practice this coming up week. Um, so I don't know how much we're going to get done in the shop this coming up week because uh, this is our first time ever playing any kind of organized basketball. So we're going to see. She loves it, man. We shoot basketball every day, and uh, – she, she loves it. So we're going to see how she likes playing with other people that play back. <laughs> we shoot a lot, but we're going to see how uh, how the team thing works, and I hope she does amazing at it because she, she really loves basketball here. Um, tomorrow when I get off work, I'm going to get lugs, battery cable lugs, because I've got a 10-pack in the shop somewhere of them that I bought. And I can't find them. So that's all that's keeping me from being able to crank this thing. The gas tank's in, uh, fuel line's hooked up, um, fuel pumps hooked up. The only thing that I'm missing is the lugs to hook the battery cable to the battery and to build the ground cable. I've got the cable, I just didn't have any lugs. Uh, once I get those two hooked up, this truck should crank on its own again. Um, it's been a while, so I would love to have it where I can crank it up and move it because it's getting, this pushing thing is kind of getting old. Um, I gotta paint the drive shaft. Probably gonna put my kid on that tomorrow because she said she wanna do it. Let her clean it up, spray it black and um we getting there That's slowly but surely i hear you where you at kid come here uh also y'all check this out right here Oops. me i know no not you upcoming project right here uh we're gonna put those on a 96 and pile ss i'm i'm excited about that too um i told him you start basketball this week Oh, great. Are you excited? No. You better be. So what I'm talking about? It's 9 o'clock at night. She ain't had her bath like she was supposed to, and she's still playing basketball. Give me that ball. Go take a bath. Give me that ball. Mm -mm. All right. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I've done that I didn't record. Uh, sorry. Uh, just, just, probably did. just trying to get it done. What? The gimbal or the phone. Or oh, yeah. The phone or the gimbal was dead, probably. Um... Hope y'all come back for the next one. Part 10, it's going to be going up down on its own. Guarantee it. Guarantee. Because it's almost ready to crank on its own. And all I got to do is run gauge lines inside to the gauges. Um, I have an A-pillar pod. Stop, please. I have an A-pillar pod uh, over there with gauges. Um, I got to put it in and run the gauge lines to it. And then hook the four air lines up once I... Get it where I can air it up. Then I'll hook the four airlines to the uh, manifold, and then have its own air management. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that too, because I want to go drive it around a little bit. You want to go drive? I can't drive. I can't wait to take you to school in it. Oh boy! All right. Hope y'all enjoyed this one.
gonna do better than that to beat the old man. Come on. Come on. We'll take it from you.